Hello, PAX East. Welcome back to all you people watching on Twitch. We got you on the Expert channel. We got you on Team Spooky. How you're doing out there? Good to see you. Spooky will be coming up later on. He's on the mic right now, actually. He's just over there, running the board. Spooky uh, hero. But yeah, thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Indie.Expert Showcase, and we're looking at all the indie games here at PAX East 2016. And we've got Stefan here. We're going to be looking at Force Showdown. How you doing, man? I'm doing very well. Uh, a little tired after a long couple of days uh, doing it. Yeah, too much. Yeah, I hear, I hear the, the, the parties have been long and the, uh, the games have been fun. Yeah, especially the Twitch party was super tough to get yeah, through. Yeah, the Twitch party kind of ruined everyone in our crew, <laughs> except like me, Spooky, and Chris. That was it. <laughs> like, yeah. We were the only ones sensible enough to be like, well, we're all good. Everyone else went crazy. But it was super fun. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, less about parties and such. Let's talk about Force Showdown. Yeah. So uh, it's running right here, and this is basically like uh, when you start it up. So uh, I have no progression, and uh, or at least I think so. Yeah, you can see that in the lower right corner. So I'm just going to start it here and uh, cool. slowly uh, get into it. So basically what we see here is like there's three different campaigns in the game. And the game is like a combination of Binding, and an Isaac, Binding of Isaac and Hearthstone. So it's like a roguelike deck builder. Huh. Um, so if I go in here, I'll start without the option to create a deck, but I have my default deck. And later in the game, I'll be able to do my own decks. And uh, I only have like one uh, character to start with and, and no companion. So it's super simple to start with. And let's just get into it. Yeah, I'm trying to like physically just imagine how Binding of Isaac and Hearthstone become one and the same. <laughs> yeah. It's an interesting I idea. Computer simulated arena referee. But just call me Caesar. In my show, you will face many exciting challenges and win huge prizes. All in the name of record-breaking ratings. But first, Ratbo will show you the ropes. He has a soft heart for newbies. Okay. So, so that's that's kind of the game show host. Yeah. This whole game is like centered around a game show a called Force Showdown, where basically gladiators or contestants are bidding their lives on to see how far they can go to win prizes and stuff like that. And okay. a lot of them die yeah. trying. Um, and we're such a contestant right now. So he has this like beautiful armor and so on to look uh, cool in yeah, front yeah. of the audience and stuff like oh, that. You do, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but to start with here, it's just like a preliminary, pre like if you go to Sing Stars or what's it called? I don't know what's it called in UK. Like the, the thing where you go and you sing and, uh, and you can like win. Uh, Karaoke? No, it's like more like a TV show. Oh, uh, like X Factor. Yeah, X Factor. Uh, yeah. American Idol. And so the, like that. So the first two battles is like a debut. Are you able to sing, basically? Okay. Are you good enough to be part <laughs> of the real <laughs> the show? Why you gotta sing and you get money? I was like, <laughs> I haven't been there. Where's that? I guess that's a little far off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So you can see that the, there's some camera drones and so on, constantly like looking at how well you're performing. But uh, cool. essentially, it's like a, it's very combat focused. Uh, okay. So it's a twin stick uh, shooter, if you may, but with a lot of uh, like melee combat as well. Uh, it's it's very unforgiving in theory, uh, and it's very much like based on learning all the enemies. Um, and, uh, and then it it's kind of plays a bit like a MOBA in the way that you have three different skills and a basic attack, and they are all like you have to utilize them as best possible. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, yeah, in each arena, there's like eight arenas in each battle, and you can see that in the upper left corner. So I'm trying to build my character towards the climatic end where I beat a boss. And uh, the good thing is, if I can sort of uh, not spend too much of my mana and so on on uh, on healing or just keeping myself up to actually reach the boss, I, I want to like build up my character so I actually have a chance. Nice, man. So yeah. how do the cards play into this situation? Yeah, so here in the tutorial, it's, it's pretty simple. You just get like a card that we know that you can use right now. But normally, you would build your own decks and like take uh, random cards out of those, like in, in Hearthstone. But here we have like an example of a card. And I'm in the card phase, which is like just before each arena. And uh, then I can like play my card, which will apply a damage boost to uh, my overcharge ability, which I just got. And, uh, and I just get more and more mana. So let me go ahead and oh, do that. Okay. And then I just like start, and then uh, now uh, uh, this ability deals more damage. And uh, yeah, I could have picked another card uh, later in the game. 
So the cards essentially just have like buffs and skills and stuff? Yeah, or uh, they change the skills completely or uh, or it gives me uh, like one-time use abilities uh, and stuff like that. Fills up my inventory. There's a lot of different possibilities. I can also like make my own small armies of creatures that help me. And, uh, yeah. Do the enemies get cards and such? Uh, the bosses, so in the upper right corner, I'm always like fighting a boss who is who is uh, like taking over the, the particular battle, and he's like the main villain in each battle, uh, and it's kind of random who you meet. So in this particular fight, we are fighting a guy called Rappo, which is like a big rat with a minigun, and, uh, yeah. and late, as, it, as you progress into the harder TV shows, or shows, uh, these guys will also start playing cards against you. And okay. summon down extra stuff that are like uh, specific to those bosses. Oh, cool. Okay. So there's a lot of randomization between what world do you get and what bosses attached to it. Uh, so yeah, for now I'm just playing the Sky of Light, and like the ho the longer I hold down my uh, main attack here, the crazier it becomes, and then it stops with a burst. Yeah. So there's a lot of like uh, you can immobilize the creatures. If I'm just hitting the small ones, they're just like passing around and that's a good way to like uh, avoid them getting too aggressive on you but as you venture more into the game there's a lot of like uh, enemies that are not really affected by those small hits so this is like uh, now the red pope boss is actually joining the fight by summoning these cannons and they are unique to him so if i wasn't fighting this boss these cannons would not appear in this world uh, and then yellow health bar stuff is like, you don't need to kill that. You just need to focus on everything that's red. Uh, and then try to survive the arena, basically. So basically you're going level to the level is like TV show to TV show kind of thing. Yeah. Cool, man. It's kind of a cool idea. It's like just as an overarching narrative conceit. It's kind of like, well, why are you in this arena? It's a TV show. Yeah. Cool. Have fun. <laughs> like yeah. From there on in. It's, it's very like plain and simple in that way. Yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah. Then of course at the start it's uh, I'm making it look easy, but for some reason it's pretty hard to sort of uh, like get used to that you have to move around to dodge stuff while you're attacking and so on. And of course I'm used to that, and I utilize even the enemies attacks against each other, but. Yeah, like that. There's a lot of friendly fire. Nice. So, you, so there is like a level of tactical play and sort of skill that are involved as well. Yeah, it's very much about learning all the kind of like a, a simplified Dark Souls, where you have to learn all the different enemies' paths mm. and then utilize that against them. Yeah. Uh, and and do sidestep with them when you can do that and uh, and other stuff. So this characters. It's probably the easiest to start with because he has like this oh shit ability where he can do like an immovability shield for two nice. seconds and that's that's pretty good to start with uh, when you don't know a lot of the enemy's attacks. So for instance this helicopter, I, I cannot like, uh, I cannot uh, constantly interfere him by yeah. just hitting him. But They're all over you. But with my big blast I can do that like uh, like this and then I get my nice. immovability frame shot. So we spend a lot of time like uh, like doing that. Uh. Oh, and now's the boss. Awesome. All right, giant rat with a machine gun. Precisely. And, you know that works. It's like your. <laughs> bosses go. <laughs> yeah, he's like your welcome, welcome thing, like the the fir first judge in uh, in X Factor, I guess. Now you mentioned that there was like a hard stony element. This. Is it literally just the cards and buffs, or is there a tactical way that you're using the cards? Uh, yeah, later on it's way more, uh, you have to be smarter how you use the cards. There will be like challenges where you have to, uh, let's say you go into a... a okay, basically a, a boss would be able to uh, throw a card that says now you uh, have to spend all your mana, otherwise you'll take damage. Cool, so, so yeah, the bosses uh, will throw cards at you. Like, yeah. that they will also play cards against you. Yeah, so like the first hour of the game, or maybe more, you're just learning how to fight in the game. Yeah. And then uh, all the strategic uh, layers are put on top of that. It's basically oh, okay. in, the, in the second and third campaign of the game. Because, um, yeah, that was the element, I guess, that, that just from the pure gameplay Welcome we haven't seen yet. But, like, yeah, the bit where it's like, oh, yeah, now I'm playing cards and stuff like that. Today, yeah. we have a new contestant, uh, ready to put his life on the line for your entertainment. 
and yes, people can hear the sound. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, people can hear that. Give a warm welcome to so I'm getting my first companion. To oh, show nice. That he is indeed worthy of your time. He must defeat the gatekeeper, Jahu. It's like the final uh, tutorial fight, if you may, before I like get entrance to the real game show in here. Ah, okay. So how sort of long is the game? Like you're saying it's got a few campaign acts and stuff like that. So it's like a roguelike and there's so much content to unlock and, and different worlds to visit, so many bosses to fight and uh, there's upgrade systems beyond uh, what we're seeing here and, and quest systems and stuff like that. So uh, I would say typically it's, it's aimed at 30, 40 or 50 hours of playtime. Nice. Uh, but there's also like like you can compete online, not directly, but in uh, randomly made matches where people are doing that right now. And then we have uh, a lot of sponsors uh, lined up. So every, actually, Expert is also helping with that. So every month there's a, <laughs> there's a season going Expert on. Expert here for you. Yeah. So every month uh, there's a season going on where people are competing in three different battles, and uh, and then basically the winners of those every month, like the best ones, are, are getting a lot of cool prizes. Nice, man. This month, yeah, it's Xplit and Racer, yeah. Nice, that's a pretty decent combo. Yeah. So that whole thing, that, so there is like a whole competitive online element to it, where you, like you say you're doing seasons and stuff like that. Yeah, so it's a monthly season thing, but uh, it's, it's the first, we did a post-launch, uh, no, pre-launch season that uh, went pretty cool, and then we did, uh, then we're doing the first season now because we released the game. 20 days ago, so yeah. So the first nice. first season is running right now. And are these seasons you're planning on sort of keeping them going and going for a while? Yeah. Nice. So you're getting quite a lot of post-launch content just on top, like more reasons to go back into the game and get better and better. Yeah. And then we're also uh, we've already made like two post-launch updates uh, nice. with a new like emblem system that makes campaigns even like harder, where you can design your own challenges, so to say. And that's 20 days out. Yeah. <laughs> You're already throwing that stuff out. That's yeah, awesome. I mean, we plan to like do whatever we can to keep the community engaged. Yeah. How has the community responded to the game so far? Very well, I would say. So uh, the, the only thing is basically that our first game uh, kind of did very well. So there's a big community for that. And that was very co-op oriented. And, uh, but we realized a lot of people were playing that single player as well. So we, we wanted to try like a game that was really fitted for single player as well. Uh, but I think there has been a little bit of the disappointment in the community who wanted uh, more co-op. Yeah. So, uh, so we're also like experimenting with co-op for this game as well. But it's not uh, not officially announced that that it's going to happen. But we are prototyping it uh, at but the office. Yeah. yeah kind of kind of unofficially half announced that it's going to maybe happen. Yeah. Right here on the expert stage. Just saying. Expert, <laughs> bring yeah. it to you again. Yeah. He's I'm trying it out there, he's trying to make it work in the game. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> There's so much UI with the card faces going on, so it's not super awesome to be four players constantly yeah. thinking about their cards and so on. So, so now this is more representative of what the game is later on. There's a lot of choices here. Okay. Um, and and I get my chance to sort of see what's in the arena when there's a camera pan. So if I notice certain enemies, then some cards are better than others to throw. But in the start, it's not super important. For instance, the card I just played now it makes my uh, makes this ability trigger twice, like that. So nice. that way, uh, there's a lot of ways to yeah change and customize your characters. And once you've committed to a card in the beginning, is that the card you're with, or can you change your like play new cards as you go through a level? When you kind of enter the game show, your deck will be locked for that uh, cool. season. But uh, then, as the better you do in the game show the more gold you will have to buy new cards, uh, which you can then like re-enter the game show with a totally different combo. Yeah. Well, that's one of those things that is going to add a lot more strategy to the game, because yeah. if you've got to figure out what you're going to do before you hit the level, you've got to figure out what your plan is first and how you're going to do things. Particularly, yeah. I suppose, the people that are playing in the seasons and stuff, and they want to get... You've got to be super good. Get yeah, theory crafting like, uh, yeah. like crazy, yeah. Uh, so right now, I, I summoned this little creature with a card. The fat little nice. orange dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then the goal here is that if I can make it survive, I get a big damage bonus for the for the rest hey, of this battle. Oh, nice! Uh, but it's awfully stupid, so I. I think it's have under to. attack. Yeah. So it becomes kind of a little escort mission. 
There we go. Oh. Got this. Nice. Nicely done. As I'm doing that, you now get a damage boost to yeah. guide into the next one. So now you will see this the small orange puff explode. Pop. And <laughs> nice. <laughs> and then I got like a plus 15% uh, damage chance. Nice, man. So there's a lot of small things that you can learn about that there. Um, then there's consumables. I have like a small consumable down to the left where I can press A to activate it. I'll do that in, the, in this battle, but that's uh, that's super situational, and there will be like some enemies where it's good to be prepared. Yeah. Especially later on. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna show it here, so I just like activate it, and then for 15 seconds, I have these strides helping me. Oh and man, that's cool. And the more enemies I kill while they are active, the more permanent damage I get. Oh, awesome. So, so your damage levels are going up, the more you kill with these things. Yeah. This is just pure win at yeah. this stage. It, it's like, a, it, but it makes me like super aggressive, so some players will also play a little greedy and do some arrow swallow. Yeah. And, uh, So now it's the boss fight. Nice. So this is kind of the basic progression of the game. Like it's just show it, show it, show it, show that uh, your boss section and then yeah. forward. Uh, and then once you get uh, like later into the game, there's way more variation in each of the arenas and not just like the basic enemies and so on. Yeah. So a lot of stuff can happen. Cool, your little buddy's kind of helping out. Yeah, that's pretty good. But yeah, I can quickly show the uh, the real game show progression uh, once this guy's done. How long was this game in development? A little more than two years. Okay. That's like you're, not, you're quite a small team, aren't you, relatively? Uh, we are 12 people. Yeah, man. Yeah. And this is a really nice, polished looking game. Yeah. Oh yeah, well thanks. That's <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So did you take a lot because you're saying your previous game was quite Welcome successful? How much of that knowledge that you gained from there the was kind of the channeled into this new game? Was it sort of like lessons you took away from that? Yeah, a, a lot of it. Uh, we also like simplified it a little and instead of like doing online co-op and everything at the same time just focused on first of all doing a really solid like single player experience and then building on top of that because the first game we did everything at the same time localized into eight different languages did Mac and Linux and all that and yeah. when we released there was not a ton of bugs and it took us half a year before oh, we man. got it fixed so now yeah. we, we want to do that. <laughs> yeah, so like, yeah, let's not have that be a half a year we have to spend again. <laughs> yeah. Precisely, yeah, it's better to do a pre-launch. Yeah. So you can see uh, now I have kind of access to uh, uh, the game show floor basically and uh, here I have to sort of learn the different rules that uh, that apply. So you can see there's small icons here. I'm standing on one. Yeah. And that sort of, I only get a hint that says gotta go fast. And uh, so Sonic's gonna turn up, <laughs> as yeah. we all know. So when I enter this, it will be revealed what it is, but, uh, but uh, it will be this, I mean, if I can recognize this uh, small icon in the future, then I ha have an idea of what it is. Ah, cool. So in that yeah, way, I have okay. to explore what all the different things yeah. are. So, uh, so for instance, this one, it gives me a powerful item to start with, but there's more enemies in the battle. Mm. So on top of like the, the arenas, uh, the world that they are in, with all the unique enemies there, and the boss that influences us, there's also like a, a rule that applies. So that way it's super varied once you get later into the yeah. game. Uh, how, how are we on time? We're good, man. We still got okay. another 10 minutes. Cool. So I'm gonna take a look at another level. Take this one. I'm gonna show a different character actually. Uh, oh, nice. Just gonna die here. Uh, just gonna die. Yeah. We're rewarding a little bit for death as well. Oh, really? Uh, but only like quest wise, quest wise, like you. Yeah. Your first quest is to die. Oh, that's quite the quest. Qu die or complete, uh, yeah. Yeah, so you okay. can see there's already like a new world here yeah. where there's uh, unique enemies as well that I have to learn and, uh, and stuff like that. But now I'm just gonna let them kill me. I'm just gonna accept death. Oh. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> such a brutal sounding death. 
many of those. It's like, oh, oh, oh. oh no, he, that guy did not want to die. It's slightly uh, exaggerated. Uh. Okay. I mean, you made it seem like he wanted to, but the truth was. Yeah, so now I uh, I unlock my uh, my first character. Uh, yeah, and then I can also quickly show here you get uh, new cards. Uh, I earn gold through doing either quests, uh, like game show specific challenges, uh -huh. and uh, and through uh, through simply just completing battles in the quiz show. Um, and here I'm just spending my gold on on uh, like a it's a wheel of fortune basically where it's random what I get. And then, uh, so if, if you play the game and I play the game and we play, spend eight hours in it, it, we will have totally different options as yeah. card-wise because there's so many cards in the game. Uh, and that way, people will have different stories of how they completed the game Ooh, because they had different options. Well, yeah, that, that's definitely a very important thing for particularly a lot of players, like to have a sense of ownership over how they've played the game and the, like, yeah. the choices they've made tactically. Precisely, yeah. So, so here, if I, I'm not gonna do it now, but I could have built it like a deck uh, and customized my own, like set out before I go into the mm. qu uh, quiz. Uh, and then finally, here's like my progression into uh, into the game. So there's a lot of different quests. I've like only done the first. Uh, I'm gonna choose this guy now. Nice. Good choice. Let's go That's a brutal looking guy. Yeah, he's my favorite uh, because he has like three different active abilities. So uh, there's always like a good thing, amount of stuff that you can do. Uh, but he's also like vulnerable because he's melee. Yeah. Uh, so I have to like uh, get into the face of the enemies all the time. So these uh, like uh, icons here are randomly generated. So I, if I restart, it'll be some new one. So I have to sort of uh, learn it all. Ah, so uh, yeah, every time you're going in, you're having to kind of change your tactics up and stuff like that. Yeah, you can't just figure it out. Uh, so there's a new boss here and a modifier where where there's like a beam between me and my companion that I can utilize, but then there's also more enemies. Ah. So there's always like a new toy or any, something new and refreshing in each of the battles. Uh, so is there much like character customization in this game? Uh, only the cards, basically. Uh, but that's oh. also like 30 cards that you get to choose uh, that you then bring on. And then between each battle in the campaign here, I get to select boons. And boons are like extra upgrades where I can get extra special uh, cards that you can't get from the normal game that are then in my uh, deck. Or, uh, or upgrades where I start with more mana and instead then I'm able to do like... Uh, play cards at the start of the arena that I wouldn't be able to do normally. Awesome. Well, we're probably going to have to start wrapping things up about here, man. But yeah. uh, where can people find more information about this game? You said it launched 20 days ago, so people can pick it up right now. Yeah, uh, it's, uh, if you like uh, search for Force Showdown on Steam, it'll be there. And you can go to forceshowdown.com. And uh, we also actually have a cool like uh, Twitch integration where uh, you can go to forceshowdown.com and uh, if you watch like other players uh, play the game, uh, you can get like free uh, downloadable content for the game. Nice. Uh, and also actually win free uh, Steam keys. Awesome. Yeah. That's very good. And also people, they can join in the seasons you're doing right now. You can yeah. win stuff from XSplit. That's good guys right here. We're giving you stuff. And how do they join in the seasons? Is it just in the game? Uh, so when I complete the first campaign, I have access to all uh, the online stuff. Awesome. Straight yeah. away? Yeah. Nice. So thank you so much for joining us, man. And thank you. Oh, yeah. Got to do the fist bump, right? That's yeah. the way to do it. Way to end. Thank you so much for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back very soon. I hear we've got like a horse or something turning up in a minute. Yeah, some sort of horse. I don't know. We'll find out. Horse. You stick around. We'll see you very soon here at the Indie.Expo Showcase. All right, all right. What is up, guys? This is Spooky. And once again, here at Indie.Xplit, we will be continuing, continuing in just a bit. Stick around. Don't go too far, fellas.